All right, well, I'm back for another video. I'm gonna show y'all how to how to make a flagpole for your truck like that. By the way, there's helicopters flying around. So that's why it's loud like that. I made this one yesterday. It's got the Confederate flag on it, stars and bars. I'm gonna show you how to make that. I'm not really gonna do, I'm planning on making another one, but not yet. It's pretty easy to make. Okay, what I used is just a, about four foot tall piece of aluminum pole and two hose clamps, just like that. And then the pole goes up. Then you get pop rivets. Here, I wanna and screw these out. See the pop rivet in there? You drill a hole through this hose clamp, through the bed. By the way, this is by the tail light right here. This is on Ford. I don't know about Chevy's or Dodge's. I don't know if I like that on there. But you drill a hole through the hose clamp and then through the bed. And you pop rivet right through there. I use a 1 8 drill bit and a 1 8 size freaking uh, pop rivet. Same with the bottom one. You do that, and then you put those on there. So like if you wanted to take this pole out, like when it's raining or something, or you don't want to leave it in there overnight, you just loosen them hose clamps up, and you slide it back in. When you want to put it back in, and then you just tighten it. So yeah, that's really easy to make. You can use PVC pipe to stick in these holes, get one inch or half an inch. You, if you get the bigger the pipe, you're gonna have to use bigger hose clamps. But I just think the smaller the pipe, the less goofy it looks. I'll probably end up painting this thing black. And what I used to put the flag on the pole, I just used two zip ties to zip tie it to the pole. So that's all for this video. If you guys have any questions, comment below and I'll answer them.